The Pawtucket Red Sox are coming to Worcester in 2021, and today the city officially welcomed the team with a grand and glorious civic celebration at City Hall. State and city leaders were at today's ceremony along with the legends of the Boston Red Sox and Pawtucket Red Sox. It's where we find our sports team with the latest on today's celebration. Okay, thank you, Olivia, and welcome back. You are looking at live shots of the Worcester Plaza behind City Hall and the site of the grand and glorious celebration, and it was a grand and glorious celebration. Kevin Shea, Andy Lacombe, and this was, Worcester's had a lot of good celebrations, and you and I were here several years ago when the Jesse Burkett All-Stars came home from the Little League World Series, but this was well done, and as we said at the end of the broadcast, Pedro Martinez stole the show. I think Ed Augustus is about as popular right now as James Michael Curley was yeah. in Boston in the 1900s. Uh, he, was, uh, he could be elected right now and, and run no matter what. Worcester right now is excited about having this time, but let's take a look now at some of the highlights of this grand and glorious celebration. It started with all the stars being introduced. You and yeah, I estimating, you know, what, 1,500 here? Maybe 1,500. You certainly celebrate. had a lot. The lieutenant governor and all the elected officials came down the red carpet and were greeted. Jerry Remy, I think, was a big highlight to be here. And Pedro Martinez, I mean... He stole the show yeah, with uh, with at the podium. He stole the show when he walked in. It took him a long time to get down. He had a lot of people he needed to see. Of course, Rich Gedman was here as well, and they unveiled a couple of banners on City Hall. It was really to welcome everyone. On that Worcester banner is all of the names. If you look really closely, and you have to look really closely, all the names of the 10,000 people who wrote postcards to the Paw Sox to try to lure them here. Pedro was great. He, uh, he threw out the ceremonial first pitch to Rich Gedman. And it became official today. The main point of news here today, Kev, it really became official. The, pa the Pawtucket Red Sox and the City of Worcester signed a letter of intent agreement. They needed to have it approved by the City Council. They needed to have it approved by the International League. They needed to have it approved by Minor League Baseball Association and Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball approved it today. It's a done deal. Yeah, and Worcester City Manager Ed Augustus said, proclaimed this is his proudest moment as city manager, and this is what he is going to be remembered for when he's long done with politics. This will be his stamp on the city of Worcester and his administration would be bringing the Pawtucket Red Sox to Worcester. And we're going to send it back to Olivia Lemon and the Worcester News Tonight studios, but we will be back again shortly. And we hope to have Rich Gedman, Worcester's own former star at St. Peter Marion, who played for the Paw Sox and, of course, played for the Boston Red Sox yeah. as well. An all-star Party's as well, just getting started here downtown in the fireworks, Canal District. Fireworks still to come. They started early with Pedro, and we've got more from City Hall coming up later on in the broadcast. Olivia, let's send it back to you. All right, sounds good. Thank you, guys.